Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode in my new series, Corsello's Retro Treasures, Antiques and Other Cool Things. Step right up, let me pour you a shot. What would you like? Oh, some bourbon? Alright, let's pour you a shot of bourbon. Oh, you don't want bourbon unless it's been aged at least a hundred years? That's some pretty old bourbon. Alright, well I can do that. Oh, might help to take the cork out first. Alright, here you go. Alright, could you really think there was 100 year old bourbon? In this episode, we're going to look at the wooden whiskey decanter as identified online on the internet. I recently acquired this item from my father. He said, it's time for you to have this son. I remember seeing it in his den when I was growing up. I didn't think much of it as a kid. It's just a wooden bottle, I thought. Um, but it's a familiar object to me because I had seen it in his den all my life throughout the years. So he hands it to me and he says, take good care of it. It is a family treasure. It is the only thing passed down from your great-grandfather Loretto. So my great-grandfather Loretto is quite the character. He arrived in the United States, came in through New York, but initially was traveling to Chicago in the spring of 1900. After a um, disagreement with the father of a young woman that he wanted to marry that ended in a shootout in the streets of Chicago, he quietly relocated to San Francisco. Now, according to my research on the internet, this bottle is dated from between 1900 and 1910. I don't know when he obtained it. I'm assuming it was closer to 1910. So, obviously, it says something about my great-grandfather Loretto that the one thing he treasured enough to pass down to his son was a wooden whiskey bottle. This bottle is actually more rare than I expected. When I searched online, I did find um, a couple of pictures, but they weren't real common, and I wasn't able to find any sort of valuation for it. So if any of you that sees this has any idea of what it might be worth, I'd love to see a comment down below and see what you think about it. Um, some of the common things that um, are missing, obviously um, it's common for people to be missing the cork. Now this one's kind of beat up. It doesn't fit in there real snug, as you saw in the beginning. It, it holds, but if there was liquid in there, it would certainly pop out. Um, also, this uh, metal lip is commonly missing on these bottles that have survived the time. And uh, also, this ring on the bottom is, is also... This bottle has never been refinished or, um, or updated or anything. It's, it's in the same form that it's been passed down all the years. Um, the one thing that is apparently missing is uh, there was felt on the bottom, according to what I read online. Um, and now it's just cork. Um, so as I mentioned, it's dated between 1900 and 1910. Um, I, most likely I believe it to be maple, although I think I did see somewhere a claim that it could be cherry wood. Um, they did refer to it sometimes as a wooden whiskey decanter and sometimes as a wooden bourbon. So I ask you, the viewer, what's the difference between whiskey and bourbon, do you know? If you do, Write a comment down below there. Anyway, that's the story of uh, Great Grandpa Loretto's Whiskey Bottle, Episode 1. If you uh, enjoyed this all, I hope that you will uh, press the like button or subscribe as there will be many other of Corsello's retro treasures, antiques, and cool things to come. Thanks for watching.